Hey guys. Happy Earth Day to you. Yes. And welcome to another episode of Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. I'm Lee. I'm Jeremy. And on this Earth Day, we were invited to a wonderful, wonderful collaboration. Yes. Thank you so very much, Nate Bright Art, for putting this together. Now, hopefully you've already watched Sarah Mack. She started us off. Yep. Then you had Garrick Brown Art Studio. Awesome. Then it's us. Then it's Brian from Brian's Upper Valley Artistry. And then there's a whole heap of wonderful, wonderful peoples. Yes. There's nine of us in total, so there's far too many to remember. But I have all the information in the description box. Everyone will be promoting their episodes today. Yep. It's going to be a lot of fun. The show pony picked some beautiful, beautiful Earth Day colours. I was, yeah, I love those colours. I love them too. And we're not going to say anything else to you because we don't have a lot of time. We're going to keep this to the to the allotted 30 minutes for you today. But we've got some beautiful pours and we have some dried results. Yes. So please stick around until the very end. Um, we'll show you the dried results. We'll spank the Patreons and then we'll send you on your way to Brian. Um, but first, let's get to the table. Let's get to the table. All right, ladles and jelly spoons. Okay, so a couple of things to say. Thank you so very much to Nate Bright yes. Art, who arranged this wonderful Earth Day collaboration here on Earth Day. So if you're watching this pour, you will have already seen some people pour. There are more people going after us. The people and their timing are all in our description box. So please go check it out. But there are wonderful, wonderful artists all pouring for your viewing pleasure today. And the title of this collaboration is Vitamin C. So, Jeremy picked out some really tremendous colours. Actually, Jeremy, I'm going to put them right here on the canvas. These are our Vitamin C inspired colours for today's pour. What we've got is this here, which is a concoction of Quinacridone Burnt Orange and Nickel Azul Gold. And to nice. that, I also added, show pony, yes. some Antique copper. <gasps> gasp, like that. gasp! A gasp of excitement and enthusiasm there. I loved it. That was a gasp worthy moment. This one here is green gold by Which Goldens. I love when used in the right way. This one here is chromium oxide Greek green dark. Not Greek, but it's green. <laughs> this one here is the greenish blue. Cole's favorite color. This one here is pearl <laughs> electric blue mixed with some pearl glacier blue. Beautiful. And then this one here, as you know, is already Decalwad Americana, Americana 24 karat gold. Nice. So this is our wonderful, I mean, listen, I would say that this is all the colors of the earth. Yeah. That was a great it's very choice. earthy. What am I going to do? Well, I've just seen Jeremy do a pour that you probably won't see until Sunday. So I'm going to steal your thunder. Okay. Because <laughs> this is Friday and that, and that one's going to go out on Sunday, I've just realized. Because we filmed them in opposite uh, order. Yes. But it is Jeremy's paw and he did a zigzag ring. Yep. And I'm going to show you what he did before he did it, but you'll <laughs> see this on Sunday as well. All right. I'm going to do something different though. I am going to sandwich layer my cup and I'm going to do it right here for you. So I'm going to do lots of small layers of these colors and see what happens.
All right, so Jeremy, you then took the cup and you didn't put a base coat down. You put a flow extender because I remember you yes. flow extended around it. Yes. And then we're going to zigzag onto the canvas. Exactly. Kind of creating ribbons, right? Yes. But you are going to go over, I go over it, right? Give me the, the t tutorial. Yes. You just pour out of the cup and you just start zigzagging up and down the canvas over okay. each other. I'm going to do slightly bigger zigzags, I feel. Okay. Let's do it. All right, now to put a flow extender around it. And this is a mix of a ton of different colors, but it's actually created a kind of grayish black. So I'm gonna tilt all of this off probably, but we'll see what happens. All right, ladles and jelly spoons at home without gloves on. Oh my goodness, it's just crazy up in here today. Um, I'm gonna tilt this bad boy out. And as I do this, I've got a couple of people here that are gonna give you some earthly facts. Yes. Go for it. So, um, you can fit about one million Earth inside of the sun. A million Earths? Yep. No. Yeah. I don't yep. believe it. About one million Earths could fit inside the sun. That's crazy. Yeah, that's how big the sun is. Wow. Earth Day has a theme song that uh, Jeremy will now sing. What is it? Is it Michael Jackson's Earth song? <laughs> no. I don't know. I just, my phone's... Flag, so. do, 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 that one. So let's see. We're making these up, actually. We don't. Uh, yeah, I, I, this is version. Earth Day facts that are not true. Um, actually, mine are. <laughs> we could do that. Can the, we do that? The ocean has about 343 million trillions, or 343 quintillion gallons of water in it. Holy moly! How many? How many different species of fishes are in the ocean? They don't know that. Oh, do they not? No. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm going to give you three facts. Okay. And you're going to pick the three that are lies. One of them. <laughs> one of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so the first one is... Nah, I don't know. I can't make this stuff up. I got to... You need to prep. You need to prep. I gotta prep. I gotta give prep. me another real fact, Jeremy. Uh, um, Earth is not a perfect sphere. No, it's not. Oh, I, yeah. didn't know, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's awesome. I knew that, but I just wanted to make sure. What shape is it? It is round, clearly, but it's not a sphere. It's, I don't know, it's a kind of funky circle. Funky um, called Medina. It's 4.54 billion years old. Wow. Yeah. And did you know that the Earth is the densest, is Jeremy. densest major body in the solar system? It is very compact. Wow. Yeah. How many people are on the Earth? Can someone so tell me? Like 7.2 billion. Yeah, something like that. Wow. Yeah. There are a lot of people. And yeah. almost all of them follow Cole's color. Are you one of them? <laughs> if you're not already, please go follow him everywhere at Cole's color. Um, our Earth is about 4.5 to 4.6 billion years old. Oh my gosh. The oldest known rocks are less than 4 billion years old. All right. I've got a fun one for you. Okay, okay go ahead. The days on Earth are increasing. Um, every day lasts 24 hours, but every century it adds 1.7 milliseconds to uh, the day. That's crazy because it feels like they're getting faster, not slower. As in, it feels like they're going faster. I learned that's because as you get older, one year is a smaller fraction of your life. Did you just so call me old? Yeah, I did. Okay. As, if you're two, then one year is 50% of your life. So perspective-wise, it's a long time. All right, okay, I see I, that, that makes sense. I just kind of made that up a minute ago. But no, but I, that makes total <laughs> sense to me. That's the way I look at it. Yeah. Right. All right, people. Yes. I love this. Jeremy, yeah, beautiful, beautiful colors. I'm really glad I kind of ribbon poured and played with it in this way. Mm. Yeah, I, I really love this. Thank you so very much for the inspiration, Show Pony. It's, it's one of my faves of the pours that we've done today. Um, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to scrape my edges. I'm going to burn this one off one last time and pop all those air bubbles. Mm and then we'll take them in for a close-up. Nice. Thank you guys.
Hey guys, it's Jeremy here and I'm super excited about today's pour. I got this beautiful 18 by 24 inch canvas, nice big juicy canvas here. It's been pinned and taped on the bottom and the colors that we're using, I'm in love with. Uh, they're very earthy, Lee introduced them. Um, so I'm gonna just get right to it. I I'm did, gonna be doing a straight pour today. I, you, I introduced them, but you did pick them. Yes. They were stunning. All right, guys, so I have just layered my beautiful Earth Day cup. Um, I am going to put a base coat down and then I'll start straight pouring. Okay. All right, guys, so I have my layered cup right here, my Earth Day layered cup. And what I'm gonna do is a straight pour. And what that means is whenever I pour this out of the cup, I'm gonna pour it straight down onto the canvas. And as I get closer to the canvas, it's gonna make these thick ribbons. As I pull the cup up higher, it makes thinner ribbons because the stream that's coming out is thinner. So let's go ahead and start this straight pour. Good dismount, big boy. Thank you. I heard you holding your breath the whole time. Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. It was really, I was like concentrating with my left hand. Okay guys, so I got my pour down on here. Let's go ahead and stretch this bad boy out. What time is it? It is tilting time. Let's tilt this one out.
Okay guys, so this is my pour. I love this as an Earth Day pour. I love it too. Yeah, Cole was just saying how it looks like a fern, like a baby fern, and that this is like some of the more of the fern leaves coming across this way. Mm -hmm. I love that. Um, I think it's gorgeous. I'm in love with this. I hope you guys like it too. And I'm gonna get my edges and take you guys in for a close up. Let's do it. So there you have it, folks. There you have it. So I hope you learned something there about the Earth. I yes. certainly did. Was it a million Earths fit in the sun? It's just yeah. craziness. We're both holding our pieces. Now they are 85% dry. Yeah. There's still a little bit of dampness yeah. in the middle. So we're being really, really careful with these. Let me show mine first, yeah. if I may. So this is my Earth Day pour. I love this. Lots of blues and then lots of browns, some really beautiful golds. It came out a really stunning ribbon pour with that zigzag cup that Jeremy taught me in a previous episode. But I really love this. Um, it's a very, very successful ribbon pour, but the colors that Jeremy chose were just stunning. Um, I think that this was perfect. Oh, thank I'm really, you. really happy with it. I that love one. that. I think it's beautiful. Now be careful, Shabone. I am. So this was mine. Hold on, let me get this right. And I just, I love this one too. It's I think it has beautiful. so much like depth and character to it. It reminds me of seaweed, like kelp under the sea. Cole said it looked like fern fronds, you know, fern that were fronds. like yeah. unfolding in the middle too. Yeah. I, again, if I may say this, if I may be so bold, for an Earth Day pour, there's definitely earthly representation in here with the blues, the greens, the browns. Um, and you managed to get this really wonderful kind of, you know, earthly representation of a plant. Oh, there. thank you. So listen, we weren't trying to go super literal with these pores by any means. No. But they ended up just being perfect. Yep. I really love them. Well done, show pony. Thank High you. five. Easy. Uh huh. Right handed. <laughs> so that's it. That's our allotted time. Yes. Again, please, if you haven't already, go check out Sarah. She started at 5.15. Yep. Then you had Garrick Brown Art Studio. And then you've got us. After us, it's Brian from Upper Valley Artistry. And then there is a host of other peeps that are yes. all going to be pouring for your pleasure today as well. So please, please, please go check them out. In the premieres, you'll be able to live chat to every single one of the artists as you go through the day. And also on this day, we are going to drop another episode of Pouring the Tea. With Massey. Exactly. Um, in this episode, it's going to be more hints and tips and tricks, but we're going to talk you through how we package and ship our pieces of art. Yes. Because uh, a lot of you have been asking, and in fact, just this day, I got a message. So Just this day. Just this day, on this day, <laughs> I got a message about it from someone wanting to know what was going on about packaging. So I'm going to tell you everything that we can about it in awesome. Pouring the Tea with Massey. It is not a premiere. Please go and watch it when you can. Yes. That is it, guys. Happy Earth Day to you all. So glad to be on this wonderful, almost spherical piece of landmass with you. And we hope you have a great day. Yeah. Absolutely. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you back here on Sunday for another pour. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Let's spank the Patreons. Yes, let's spank the Patreons. Let's do it. Who are the Patreons? Well, the Massey Posse, we like yes. to call them, are a group of people that have signed up to patreon.com, and on our Patreonage, you have the opportunity to get levels and perks for different things. Yes. So at one level, you might get a sneak peek behind the scenes video or some footage. At another level, you'll be invited to monthly off the YouTube channel live streams. And at a separate level, you might also get once a month tutorials. Yes. So it's a really fun opportunity for people just to have a completely different view of Massey Art Studios. Mm -hmm. So we have some people to thank. Yes. At our gold level, 
we have Elizabeth Galano, Gillian Kennedy, we have Gloria Salaki and Jane Klein, we have Janice Swansea and Kelly Stowell, we have Kirsten Blackley, we have Linda Seriani, we have Mary Doulas or Mama Doulas, Mama Doulas, Patsy Petrelli and Rebecca Hawes Winters, we have Sharon Luffy and Stephanie Hancock, we've got Tammy Housebrook, we've got Terry Leshner, and we've got Trisha West. Yes. Then in our platinum level, we have Elaine Burton, Janice Pittman. And Steve. And Steve. We have Susan Chigori and Susan Shepperson. Susan Shepperson. Yes. And at our diamond level, at from diamond one you level. all know and love, yes. it's Sparkles. Sparkles. So thank you so very much to those guys and everyone else that's here down below, our bronze and silver patrons too. We really yeah. appreciate you. We really appreciate you wanting to be here with us and support us through this wonderful journey of art. Honestly, we really can't thank you enough, so thank you so very much. 